South Korea's military draws up plans for a surgical strike to take out Kim Jong-un's missile and nuclear facilities if orders are given to remove the dictator. South Korea would use cruise missiles fired from F-15 fighters for surgical strike. Contingency plan drawn up to destroy North Korean facilities in an emergency. It comes days after Kim Jong-un carried out a test of his Hwasong-14 missile. South Korea's military draws up plans for a surgical strike to take out Kim Jong-un's missile and nuclear facilities if orders are given to remove the dictator. South Korea would use cruise missiles fired from F-15 fighters for surgical strike. Contingency plan drawn up to destroy North Korean facilities in an emergency. It comes days after Kim Jong-un carried out a test of his Hwasong-14 missile. According to reports the project is being overseen by South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff and the Ministry of National Defense. It comes after two U.S. officials said North Korea's latest test of an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, has shown that Pyongyang now may be able to reach most of the continental United States. The assessment, which the officials discussed on condition of anonymity, underscored the growing threat posed by Pyongyang's nuclear and missile programs, and could add pressure on President Donald Trump's administration to respond. North Korea said on Saturday it had conducted another successful test of an ICBM that proved its ability to strike America's mainland. The secretive North's leader, Kim Jong-un, supervised the midnight launch of the missile on Friday night and called it a stern warning to the United States that it would not be safe from destruction if it tried to attack, the official KCNA news agency said. However, two U.S. intelligence officials, speaking on condition of anonymity, said on Monday Kim wants to develop a nuclear-capable ICBM to deter any attack on his country and gain international legitimacy, not to launch an attack on the United States or its allies that he knows would be suicidal. The Pentagon declined to comment on the U.S. assessment of the missile launch, even as it acknowledged that the latest test represented the longest test flight of any North Korean missile. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.